Hi, I'm Ali Jones and welcome to Get Modern. Uh, today we're going to cover uh, another topic in our uh, Intune Handbook series. Uh, as you can see on the screen, this is my blog which details some of the steps. There are some other, other videos out there at the moment so uh, that cover some of the other topics, but what we're going to cover today is verify enrollment restrictions and configure device settings. So let's quickly get into it. Uh, if I go into my Intune tenant, first we do the device restrictions. So if I go to devices, um, then I go to select enrollment restrictions. You'll see the two options here. You've got the device type restrictions and you've got the device limit restrictions. To go into both of these, uh, select all users, select properties, and automatically you'll see these are the platforms of which um, are configured to uh, either allow or or block basically and these are the platforms that you're allowing to enroll onto your on, onto your Intune platform if I click the edit button here you'll see you've got the options for allow or block you've also got the options to add a minimum or maximum range or version of that platform so I can quite easily go in and block Mac OS for example and uh, it will grey the, those options out. Um, once you've done that, if you do allow a platform, you can also go one step further and block personally owned devices. So maybe you only want to uh, allow corporate owned devices to, to enroll, in which case you would select the block here. Now, uh, if I go back to, uh, once you've done that, you select the, click the review and save, and then you get a button, that, uh, an X at the top, right hand corner which you press. If I go back to devices um, and look at now we look at the device limit restrictions again I click the all users uh, option select properties and then the edit. What this is doing is effectively allowing you to choose from the drop down list up to 15 up to a number of 15 um, and this is the limit that a single user um, will be it will be applied to a single user to enroll a device so any user for example what I've got here is, is set to five that means that any individual user has a limit of only enrol enrolling up to five devices okay I'm going to go out of that because of my tenant is already configured and next we're going to go on to uh, device settings or configuration settings so if I click devices I go into configuration profiles. I've got a few in here already, but I'm going to go through selecting, uh, picking up, or creating a new one. I'm going to select the platform. Obviously, you've got an option, so depending on what you want to add your configuration profile and settings for, you can choose your, your platform type. I'm going to hit Windows 10 and later. Now, the options that you get, you can get, um, there's two settings catalog which is in preview currently uh, we'll quickly go have a look at that uh, but the main ones or the the previous uh, options in here were under templates so if i click click uh, templates you can see there's a selection of different settings that you can configure it may be that you want an endpoint protection setting you want to configure for your devices it may be a, dev a domain join um, but one of the uh, common places to start uh, when you're kicking off and, and getting up and running initially is device restrictions. So we'll select that, we'll click create, put our, our Win10 device restrictions in for a name, click next, and then you'll get all the options. So in here, you've got multiple options um, you will recognize so if I open the control panel for example you got the network and personalization apps accounts time and language these are all options that you um, you get if you uh, go down and hit the, the settings uh, within settings on your desktop um, you get a number of options so you've got system uh, personalization time and language there for example if I hit block for the settings app it basically automatically blocks all those options so when our user logs on they won't see those those options they'll be blocked from from making any changes for now i'm going to 
click that back to not configured which means I'm not setting that and as you can see there are various options within here um, it may be the on the start button for example um, you can add an XML file in here which will configure the how you configure the look and feel if you like of that of all the options on when you hit the start button um, and you can arrange all the tiles for example okay so that's what you would do you only choose the ones and configure the ones that you want set uh, you would hit next assign your users um, we won't go into application rules for now and it will give you a confirmation of what you set and you can hit create I'm not going to do that for now so I'm going to step out of that I'm going to create a new profile though and go back into Windows 10 and later and this time I'm going to select the settings catalog as I said uh, it's currently in preview um, hit the create button there give it a title hit next and from this point on you're going to be able to add various settings now the the true benefit in this and and the reason why Microsoft have now introduced it is because rather than go through um, adding a collection of options as you saw within one policy uh, which we configured previously what this will allow is allow you to individually select those settings for a different feature so for example if I click um, BitLocker BitLocker here and hit the search I'm going to get a number of options okay so if I now just select that bottom one it will give me the options that I can configure um, so it may be required device uh, in encryption so with that uh, what I do is I'll go and uh, switch it on uh, by default it's disabled as you would expect I'll hit the next button I'm going to sign my users and groups um, we won't go over scope tags just now um, if I hit the next button you'll get a summary of what you've set up or what you've chosen and then you hit the create button okay I'm not going to do that for now but that shows you the process that you would follow okay that covers uh, that covers this video if we have a quick look at the um, the list uh, this is the Intune handbook today we covered the verify enrollment restrictions and configure device settings just one quick add to this um, in terms of the settings catalog have a look at our get modern channel um, we've got a specific video which goes in a, a bit deeper about the settings catalog so anyone want a bit more information on that go ahead and sit uh, and take a look right thanks very much for now see you again soon